the bed. So what, nigga? And if I still got on, the energy to do it tonight, I'm your company too. I'm gonna make some so candy keep it down, Negro. Shit. I don't think you understand. That's what we gonna do. My house, I own it. So what? Do something. Keep it down in this damn house of yours, nigga. Shit. I hope everybody had a blessed up. day and a good weekend, as good as can be expected. You know what I mean? We ain't got long. I think we got two weeks left in this year, including this week coming up. So, hey, it's gonna be what it be. I'm a 90s baby. I was born in 91, so to me, it feel like, oh, I dropped the peak in. Damn. Throw that one away. For me, it feel like. Hey! The time moving way faster than it used to move in the 90s. I don't know if it feel like it moving faster. What's your name? I'm Just for me, or if it felt like that for every generation of people. Maybe once you reach a certain age, it just feel like time moving faster. Now me, personally, that's how I feel about it. I'm gonna move transition this better. I don't want nobody to be in there like, yo, I don't know what's up with this light streaming down. This shit crazy. Pecans. I'm taking uh, as many pecans as I can. I'm going to crack them open, save them, try to save as big as pieces as I can. And I'm going to, um, I seen a recipe online, a few recipes actually, on how to make candy pecans. And they are pretty much the same. I seen a couple little twists. I seen some good that I think I might be interested in trying. And song that I absolutely don't think I want to try at all. Well, I seen song I don't think I want to try. I seen, uh, I seen a recipe where they had cayenne pepper on it. I know you. I mean, that seems a little absurd to me. I can't imagine why I would want cayenne pepper on my pecan for a candy pecan. And this wasn't supposed to be a spicy pecan. It's supposed to be candy. So I don't see. What the, what, why? Like, who, who, who recipe was that? It had to be a Mexican. It had to be a Spanish person recipe. I fuck with Mexicans. Spanish people. I done had Mexican girls, but not many. One, maybe. But my point is, cayenne pepper on a uh, pecan. I just said that because I know y'all love spicy food, so don't act like it was something racial or racist. You know what I mean? And don't try to hit me back with the black people love fried chicken because everybody love fried chicken. Black people love watermelon. Everybody love watermelon. To be honest with you, I think that started because, first of all, watermelon is such a big fruit. You know, all you got to do is grow like a handful of them, 10, 20 watermelons. Cut them up, you can feed months or two of the people. There was always plenty of slaves out there, so I'm pretty sure that that was one of the most easily accessible fruits for us to get access to. If they gave us options to have any fruit anytime, then we're going to choose watermelon because why choose something where it's too much work in growing it and we can't pass it around and for it to be filling the way most fruits can't be. So that's why I think the watermelon play came in, and the same with chicken. What other wildlife was it out there that was so and such multitude that you could feed a, a bunch of people. Chicken, 
it ain't enough cows, it wasn't enough cows and pigs, like it just wasn't enough of that other stuff out there floating around. Chickens, it's just easy, so it's so easy for a chicken to be breed, breeded and, and, and for one to come, come about. So I think that's why they seem like they want to say black people love watermelon and chicken. But now, I feel like during the slavery times, if we got access to any good food, then them was the only good foods we got access to that was able to, you know what I mean, that was multiplied to where it was not mattered about. Like steak and stuff like that, they weren't like trying to get on niggas no steaks and nothing like that. They were trying to be funny about it, I'm sure. But something like some chicken, where you can just grow thousands of them running around, they don't care about that. So that's what I think that came from. Shit. My pecans looking right. I think they're gonna be on point when I finally get cooked. If they that good, I'm gonna bust them up and then I'm gonna sell them. Candy pecans. It might be a new side venture business for me. Side venture business out there, candy pecans. I don't mind if you do it too, because let me tell you something. Somebody got to do it. It's enough money to go around, they say. They ain't stopped printing money yet. It's always somebody that want to spend their money on some shit that they love. But just because it might be a product out there that's already out there don't mean that your product won't make it. Your product might be, you know what I mean, more easily accessible. Your product might have better quality. Your product might come with better customer service. Your product might have better marketing once you start to place it out there. Or people might just rock with you and want to support your product. It might just be the right time for them. So don't worry about what you think you can't do. Just get started on and try to do what you can and go from there. Coming from yours, true. Come on, man. Eh? Oh, yeah. Should have got some ice cream. Yeah, I'm eating on the clock. Eating on the clock. I see that on mine today, we got some beef going on. And I hate to highlight any kind of beef for my people, but it's just unnecessary beef. Some more hip hop beef, but this time it's not the men, it's the women. Now, I ain't, I ain't gonna get deep in the women's business, but what I will say, what I will say is, I heard the little song that they uh, beefing about. Not, I didn't hear the song, but I heard a little piece of the song, a snippet. It's not gonna be a life changing song. It's not gonna be like a career changing song to where I feel like they should be beefing over the song. Whatever it is, they got it, the beef started. Okay, it started. Now just let it go and move on. Ain't nobody got time, especially now with 2021 coming up, be beefing over anything that don't make sense. Anything stupid, especially. Especially. And it's a sensitive time. A lot of people being caved, cooped up. People that's been doing what they're supposed to be doing. Emotions running rampant. A lot of stuff going on. But you can't forget the bottom line is you're still a person at the end of the day. Tomorrow, not promise. Life is short, and it's better to spend time spreading love and unifying than it is spread hate. Especially with your own people. Especially with your own people. Sitting right here watching Wild and Out old clips. I should be boycotting this shit considering they did my boy uh, Nick Cannon wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn this shit off. Nobody support the Wild now. Don't did my boy Nick wrong. Put on something else.
I was posing a question earlier. And the question was, or not necessarily a question, but a statement. And it was that tall men love all sizes and shapes of women. We love tall women, short women. But tall women say they love tall men, but usually they only... More, the, more likely than none, usually they going for the shorter men, it seems like. And vice versa. Now, my thing about it going on, my thing about it, the vice versa part is, I think taller men go for shorter women because shorter men and short women feel like, they feel like they appreciate taller men more than taller women do. Hit me up, cause I already know if it's some taller women on this listening, then they're gonna have something to uh, say against what I said. They're gonna have a bad, they're gonna have a retort. Everybody entitled to their opinion. You know what I mean? It's just an opinion that I'm giving, and you might think it's stupid, but let me have it, and you can have yours. You know what I mean? Don't hate me for it. I don't hate you. But I feel like. Oh, and please go and like and subscribe the video if you got time. Just go down and click on subscribe and like. But I feel like as a taller man, as a taller man, most of the time when I go and approach taller women or to try to talk to taller women, it was a rejection. It was, it feel like rejection. It's like they already got somebody. Or they just ain't going for it. And that was whenever I went for Tyler Wood. As a target. Now, when I said, when I mentioned this to a tall woman, she said that Taller men feel intimidated by tall women, so that's why we don't actually approach them most of the time. And when we do approach them, we don't come at them. I guess with like, we just don't come at them the right way. It made me pose the question. So you saying that uh, shorter men come at y'all better than taller men? And she said that. A lot of taller dudes don't got game like that. So that's probably why the shorter dudes usually uh, get the woman, the taller woman. I said that I disagree, and that maybe just short men come at taller women so hard. Yeah, they just make it harder for a tall man to come at them because short women, short dudes praise them so much that when we come at you, then it's like, I don't know if it's an expectancy for a taller dudes to, you know what I mean, come at you twice as hard. I don't know what, what the expectancy is. But it feel like we had a stalemate. It seemed like we had a stalemate with the situation because we didn't reach an agreement. We basically explained each side for not liking the other side. Now granted, I had better experiences, me, myself, better experiences, more love and nurturing experiences with short women. I love short women and tall women, but better experiences, more love and nurturing time spent with short women because they actually Shit. They, act, they act like they want to be around you and up on you and stuff. And we like to feel wanted. We like for somebody to want to be up on us and around us. We don't like to feel like we're not special to you.
But then when you say that, and I, I hear like that, that's how they feel basically. So it's like we basically feel the same way, and we basically feel like we're doing each other the same way. And this is the tall people, right? Like tall men versus tall women. We basically don't. We feel like each other is treating each other the same way. They feel like we don't approach them, that we just like short girls, and we feel like they just like short dudes, and that they don't really be approachable for us to approach them. Like they don't be going for them. And that was just an argument I had about the tall versus short debate in regards to why, like, why tall men don't holler at tall women. When I say all tall men love tall women, but all tall women don't appreciate tall men. Short women appreciate tall men more than tall women do. So that started the argument. I just think that's true though. Short women appreciate tall men more than tall women. That's just me. Hey, hey. You can tell me what you think. I'm telling you what I think. You can prove to me otherwise. If you can prove to me otherwise, you tell me otherwise. In the comments, what you think. Write in the comments and tell me what you think. About the debate. My question to you is, do short, do tall men value tall women more? Do, or do tall men value short women more? And do tall women value short men more? Or do tall women value tall men more? This one with the tall women be saying they love tall men and they be wanting a tall man, but we don't approach them. Short women love us and we love them. Best believe it. It's just the way it be going. All of these are not coming up the way I want them to. I'm squeezing it too hard, man. My grip too strong. Please tell me y'all watched that versus the other night with uh, E40 and Too Short. I didn't watch the verses, but I did keep up with um, all the posts, the memes, and stuff people was posting about it. When I tell you E40 was dancing like he was a, he just got bit and he's turning into a zombie. But as soon as he started, he started going Ugh, uh, in a circle. I said, "But what's going on with my boy?" Thought he was about to bite somebody. I heard it was lit though. Well, they had a good time. Tell me when it goes. Before it sounded like a spaceship starting up and shutting down. Tell me when it go. Yeah. Tell me what you're talking about. If you're talking about it, then keep talking, Blake. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to keep walking. I'm walking all the way to the house, Blake. <laughs> so E40 sound like me. How y'all feel about titles? In a relationship, how soon do you think a title should be attached? And why is a title important to you? Tell me in the comments why a title in a relationship is important to you. How soon do you think a title should be attached? I think it should be attached when you ain't worried about it. Niggas be worried about too much. Like why is that at the front of your mind? There's so much else to worry about. You vibing and chilling. Why is it on the front of your mind to say, hey, what are we? Like, you know what y'all is, y'all. What is it? What is it more that you want to know? Is, it, is that basically when you want to know about the title? Is that basically what you saying? And this is a question for the ladies. Just basically y'all saying, "Hey, tell me that. 
it's just me so I can stop smashing these other niggas I'm fooling with because really I got a group of niggas that want me to start there and let them get it. But I'm about to stop smashing these niggas or I'm about to stop flirting and fooling with these niggas. So you say that I'm exactly yours so I can stop. Is that what the title of mean for y'all? Is that exactly why? Because y'all don't communicate it good enough for us. Brandon, we ain't the best with comprehension and communication ourselves. But when we willing and we ready and open for it, then y'all supposed to be shooting us with all the good communicated questions and comprehensive questions, whatever you got on your mind. Because a lot of niggas can't handle communication. A lot of niggas can't handle all of it. So when you come across somebody that can and they ask you and they want to know, then explain it. Get sick of y'all always want people to uh, be able to read your mind and know what's up, what's on it. And when Superman, and he can't read minds, he's like, it's way bitch, he can see through you. Herbert has superpower anyways. Got all the superpowers. Why this nigga need a pervert superpower? They gonna give this man the power to be able to see through you. It's ray vision. They make enough stuff they can see through stuff as it is. This man did not need his eyes to be able to look through a woman's clothing. And he be trying to act funny, act slick like he don't be looking. He don't be looking at the women and looking up under the clothes like it goes straight through to the bones on them. You know you can choose which level your eyes can see Superman. Quit playing games with us, man. Like we slow. I think that's all a trick. Shit. Got some of the tree part in my mouth. I think that's all a trick. Batman and Superman gotta be in cahoots. Batman got enough money to be in all crime in Gotham City and surrounding cities, I'm sure. You got enough money to in all you got enough money to put that city in a bubble and to build robots. But he chose to dress up in a suit. Every night, put on a utility vest, full of full of little gadgets that he got created for himself, so he can go out there and beat niggas up. You do not need a suit full of gadgets to beat niggas up. Niggas got it bad enough. There ain't no niggas out there with suits on full of gadgets. Like what niggas was he preparing to fight anyways from the from the jump for Batman to need all that shit? These niggas is in the alley, slinging dime bags, standing by the fire. Adults is warming their hands. Of course, these niggas gonna have a bad day and start fighting. Last thing you need is a nigga in a fully armored suit coming out of nowhere and ready to lock you up and take you to jail for some shit he could have solved in the first place. Nigga, they st they starving and cold. Get them some food or something to drink. And then once I got old enough to think about that fake ass voice shit he was doing, it was over with from there. I was like, nope, Batman is no longer my favorite. Once you get old enough to realize he really like don't sound like he smoked a thousand and twelve cigarettes a day. Like when you get old enough to realize that Batman really I'm like, hey, I just want you to know that life is what you make it. And it's gonna be what you want it to be if you work hard for it. Get down, asshole. Come on, man, I'm about like that. That goofy shit Batman be doing. Goofy ass nigga. Goofy ass nigga. No one decent so far. Boom. Hey. Stacking them up. Stacking them up. I forgot somebody about to pull up on me. I got something to do real quick. I don't want my feed to go off. I might do a part two. But well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up real quick. And closing for part one. I want to say, fuck Donald Trump. I'm glad that he about to get up out the White House. I hate the fact that we have to let him wait until January the 21st or whatever that shit is before we can throw this motherfucker out the house because 
what kind of person let an evil villain lose and then stay in the house so they can fuck up shit before they get out? Like, that just don't make sense. The moment he lost, we should have said, oh yeah, get this nigga out of the house before he go and, and press the red button or whatever. Some stupid shit. I don't trust him. I just don't trust him. That's all I'm saying. We'll talk more about that later in the second part. Deuces.